right, we are back in the booth this afternoon and we're gonna actually do a subscriber request. We're gonna do a Magnum S crank and a transparent ghost crappy. So I've already put a, um, a transparent base over this and I'm letting it dry now. Oh, uh, so let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use um, the Autoborn Silver Sealer 613 on the top. Since we're gonna make this one a ghost, we're not gonna do a whole lot from the lateral line down all the way around this. This is a relatively simple pattern to do. It's a good beginning um, uh, lure pattern for somebody to try. So we'll put some silver sealer in the gun. And we'll go ahead and give it a test spray. And all we're gonna do with it is just come over the top with it. You can see how bright this stuff is. It is very, very bright. And I'll let it fade down. Get a good coat in one since we're not gonna be doing anything from the lateral line down. And that gives it a good, a very good looking top coat. So we'll let that dry just for a second. I'll heat set up and we'll clean my gun out real quick. And all I'm using to clean it out is just my usual hot water bottle that I have with scalding hot water. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna heat set it real fast. I'm gonna change guns because I'm gonna shoot my black over it next. We're gonna be using a stencil from Russ Allen, Insane Custom Stencils for this. This is one I've done quite a few times on the lure page. I just have not done a video on it. Get that up here. And the stencil that I'm gonna be using is actually the, the crappy stencil, the smaller one. It comes in two sizes. It comes in a little bit bigger size. I think it's an SB11. And this one is the smaller size. Oh, um, you don't need a giant one to do this. Oh, um, so what we'll do is we'll get a little bit of golden carbon black. Shake it up pretty good. Give it a shake. Go ahead and clean that tip out. Grab my PS 771, my weapon of choice. You may have a different choice. Won't need but a couple drops of paint. I'm going to drop this pressure on down. We'll go ahead and give it a shot here. See where we're at. That's probably going to be pretty good. It's on about 15. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to line, I'm going to line the stencil up. And I'm not you know, you don't want to blast this. I'm, I'm not even going to hit it up on the gill part. I don't like that on a crappie. I like to kind of leave that alone. So I'm just going to lightly dust over this. And that's what it gives you. It just gives you a nice, 
shiny, transparent. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna spin this thing around and put just a little bit right here. Okay, maybe a little bit right here. There you go, and that's what you get. Oh, uh, the the stencils are uh, that Russ has are great. You can get them at um, insanecustomstencils.com. Russ is a great guy. Uh, stencils are excellent. Come up with all kind of stuff. He has everything that you need. So what we'll do is, uh, since I, I'm doing the video purpose, I'm just going to leave it on the stand. I'm just going to flip it over. Make sure your side is dry. I'm going to line it up. I can actually see through it, so I know what I'm going to be hitting on. And there you go. It gives it a nice, clean, crappy. The crappy stencil really does a good job. And what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the eyes here. I like to kind of darken those a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to put a, I'm going to go ahead and put a, um, a scale pattern on the top with my, my little wheel here. I'm not going to do it super dark. Don't want it dark, dark. So I'm just going to hit it right down the middle. I'm not going to do the whole thing. That gives it a kind of a cool look. It leaves some of it silver, some of it scale pattern. And like I said, this is a this is a kind of a, a beginner's lure. This, this will really help some people that like to do this. And this one's a, a really cool looking pattern. So I'm gonna clean that black out of my gun. And I use two candy colors on this lure. I use um, black candy and I use poison green. I like to put a little bit of green on my shoulders of this bait. Because our crap, you have a little green right there above the lateral line. And I've been, I've let this sit for just a little while. You wanna, you wanna let those, when you mix the UVLS with them, you just want it to sit a little bit. So it's been sitting, so I'll just stir it up good just to make sure it hadn't settled in. It's been sitting for about 10, 15 minutes. I did it before I even started the video. So we get a little bit in the gun. Now you don't have to add the green. I just do because it just, that's what they look like where I live. So I'll test my gun out. I'm still on about 15. And all I'm going to do is come across the top, right above the eye, maybe to the eye. Just enough to make it seen. And that's about it. it. Gives it a nice look. I'll come on the other side. Do the same thing. I won't throw this out. I'll just dump it in, clean the gun out, and then I'm just going to put a little bit of black on top. Now, the thing with the Candy 2.0 black, it has a violet, violet tint to it, so it'll still have a, some crap, you have that little tinge of purple in them too, so this kind of works out really well, and I'll just lightly put it over where I did the scale pattern. I don't want to really go over the part where I didn't. I don't want to. I'd like that silver to show. So I'll stir this up. And we'll put a little bit of black in the gun. Candy 2-0. Go ahead and test it out here. There we go. And all I'm going to do is run across the crown. So we'll just go across the crown just a little bit. 
and it kind of darkens it up, but it makes it, it's gonna be super transparent, so it's gonna be, it's gonna give it a nice look. And I'll go ahead and do a little bit around the eyes with the candy, I like the candy, it's gonna really set the eyes off. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out, dump that excess in there, I always make too much. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna put some I'm just gonna use some silver shad eyes in this one um, I'm gonna let that dry just for a second I'm gonna go over there and pick my eyes up and I'll be right back So on this, I'm going to check these eight millimeter eyes, silver. These are just a silver eye. And these eyes I actually got from China years ago, but they actually look pretty good. Because this is the Magnum esque ring, so it's got a little bit bigger eye socket. So. it and that gives it a nice look and we'll go ahead and take that on down and get that tape off put the eyes on up get the tape off of this lure and we'll hit it with a coat of UVLS and it's gonna be done. Like I said, it's a relatively simple pattern, but effective. It's a good fish catching lure, good color. Um, there's not too many places that I fish around where I live that don't have crappie in the water and the bass do eat them. They do eat them. up so we can get it all it's hard doing this with the gloves but my hands have really been acting up here lately so I've had to really be careful okay but it is a good pattern get that one that oh, I gotta get it on a little bit So that's what you're looking at. It is a, well, if I get that blue tape off my hand, let me just take these gloves off. Um, it's actually a very cool looking bait. You can actually see where the silver and a little bit of green and where your, where your scale pattern is. Like I said, they are eight millimeter eyes, just regular silver. So we will hit that with a coat of UVLS. Pull that on down. Go ahead and raise my pressure. 
pressure on back up. UVLS is a little bit thicker. Even though the new one's not as thick, I still um, like to shoot it on a little bit higher pressure. So we're not gonna put a whole lot. We're just gonna get a good coating on it. Get it to shine on up. This is the high gloss. is it so that is the transparent ghost crappy hope everybody enjoyed the video go check Luis out at alternativelures.com for the magnum s cranks they're outstanding um check out russ at insane custom stencils for the crappy stencil that we used in the, in the video hit the like button subscribe hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when i do other videos and like i said i'll catch you next time thanks